So then we will discuss about power in electrical circuit. That is the resistance here. That is the voltage, battery voltage. This might be its internal resistance or maybe any other resistance. And uh, this is the external resistance, this is of course the internal resistance. Now the current will flow like this. If uh, power is basically power of circuit, electrical energy consumed divided by time, time of consumption. For the timing, I will not consider this. To make it very simple, I will not consider this. Suppose that there is only one resistance R over here, and the battery voltage is V, and all the voltage will appear across the resistance because this is connected to this, and we already have known that uh, we already have known that uh, if V is a voltage then this will be 0, this will be V. So, this will also be V, this will also be 0. That means the potential difference, the potential difference is V across the resistance. Okay, now power is the rate of doing work, work by time. The work is uh, the electrical energy consumed per second. That is uh, and the electrical energy consumed that is uh, W by T, the work by time or electrical energy consumed per second. Work done we uh, discussed last time that is VIT, this is the electrical energy divided by time, time cancels, that implies P equals to VI. This is the formula for power in electrical circuit. That means the power. Uh, across the resistance is V into I or because V equals to I into R. So I into R into I, I square R. Because V equals to I R, I equals to V by R, V by R, V square by R. So these three formula can use, this is the power consumed in case of a resistive element. In case of uh, the power uh, sent by battery then uh, this is V into I only power sent by battery is V into I only this formula if I is the current that flows through the resistance R power uh, sent by battery is V to I this is the only formula available okay because Q charge flows here will be charge flows then say here will be QV is a uh, energy this is the energy that is available to the start when it is here but when it is here this uh, energy is zero the battery provides the energy to this charge so it will be here and uh, the time rate of flow of this energy is the power so if i divide by time here it's like this here also then uh, v q by t q by t is i that is V to I. So I can also <coughs> write in different way. If dQ amount of charge is flowing uh, in time dt, then this will be dQ by dt that is I. So that uh, power is a uh, instantaneous power. The I is the instantaneous power because I is dQ by dt. So V I that is VdQ by dt is instantaneous power. So if you integrate the instantaneous power P dt is VdQ, that uh, expression also can be used 
VTQ. VTQ is the uh, work done. That means uh, uh, from this you can get the heat generated in a register by integration of VDT. Okay, from time zero to T. Um, if I write I into R uh, DT, then I R uh, DQ by DT. So we can. P is a TQ by DT or P DW by DW, DW is P DT. You can integrate this also. The total order is in time T or uh, when the time is from 0 to T. You allow the time T seconds to and the current is flowing during that time, whatever current. The power is V uh, into I DT. Battery voltage is constant, so I is uh, Q by T. I is also Q by T, you can write or V I T. And uh, I square R T also you can write because these I to R in terms of constant, if you write, then there's I to I square R D T integration. R is constant, so I square D T integration. So the constant current flows through this mm -hmm. because the current is constant. I square R dt integration dt. this i square r into t. This order is nothing but the i square rt. Okay, so this over formula h is uh, i square rt is the heat produced in the register, heat produced in the register. Hmm. So this is what is known as the power in electrical circuit. So basically, power uh, for a cell is uh, V into I, but the power uh, sent by the cell is VI. But power for register is uh, VI or I square R or V square by R. Okay, thank you.